What's up everyone? We're here in Palm Bay at this place called Life Storage. We purchased a storage unit at an auction. Just this little unit here. For the first time to the public, we present... Look at all this surfboards. Is it real that that hey. looks like that? No way. Oh my gosh. Looks like Wave Rebel, and this is a super vintage boogie board. Bond, what is that? Do you smell Votec? Oh yeah, I saw that symbol. It is a pair of pants, dude, that's why. All right, we got hats, guys. I can rock it. Good day, sir. I actually really like this. I've never seen a cheetah one, but. We could use these. Yeehaw. This one we just found. We um, just signed. Authentic Super Bowl XL ticket stub. Signed. We have a locked trunk that could be filled with anything. I won't lie in this world, man, you need school. What you saw is what you reap. The price of even making it, you know it's not cheap. Not never mind the lights, you can sacrifice sleep. Put your best out there, see results in a week. No breach. I don't think they know. Babe, check it out. What's up? You. You. <laughs> so cool. All right. I'm flipping. I can take a it's picture of all cool. of us if you want. Right on. Yeah, sure. Let's get out and do it. You These guys people are weren't awesome. be. Is this this is your business? Yes, Kona Ice. We where have is a that? Out shave ice truck. Where, oh, you, you where just drive like, around wherever you want. Catering. Special okay. Could have used some ice right here. I love it. it. Could have used some Kona Ice today. I know. What's up? What's your name? I'm Michelle. Michelle. Sunny. Okay. Nice to meet you. Sonny. Sonny. Michelle. <laughs> oh. You want to take a picture? However, we can do it like this, right? Yeah, that's right. You got the long arms. You gotta put switch it around though, babe. Skinny little thing. You gotta switch it around, what? Is that switch? Right. What's up? It's taking a video. <laughs> Is it a I video? Love it. <laughs> okay, now it's a video. Alright. Got it. Thank Very you. Cool. It was nice so nice to meet meeting you. you. Nice to meet you. Good luck. Guys. <laughs> you guys are living the dream. Always. You are too. Awesome. Have Peace. Fun. <laughs> she said, <"I'm> living the dream. <laughs> right? Dude, <laughs> she was so nice, though. But, like, when I walked in there, <laughs> it's so funny. Because, like, the guy at the counter was like, Oh, you do YouTube? Because she was like, Oh my God. She was like, You do the, you're the, you do the podcast, the, the, the auctions. I was like, Yeah, yesterday we did an auction. She was like, Oh my God, I'm watching you last night. <laughs> no way. I was like, No way. That, that happened. All right, so we were gonna wait till we got to the facility to start the video today, but it looks like we started it off. Uh, we just ran into someone that watches our YouTube channel. Michelle, so shout out Michelle if you're watching. Kona Ice Truck Lady. Kona Ice Truck. And she was like, you hang out with that guy, uh, what's his name, Wavy? She was like, Ben. <laughs> he was like, that's my brother. Ben Wavy. The Wavy guy. <laughs> so funny but yes yeah, so, so nice. uh today earlier i went and bought three storage units three <laughs> you said one i said three <laughs> so when i was looking at the one last night and there's the all the other ones those are yours <laughs> they were all mine <laughs> yeah there i bought two other ones i was having the other one so we're going big big today. Well, we're only doing one today. We have 70, 72 hours to do all of them. What? Yeah. Wait, to do days. all? To do as many. Oh, I guess you guys said, I couldn't. We could wait two days and then go there. Oh. No, the other two are oh. tiny. Okay, okay. The other two are babies. Yeah, I've got just one storage unit. Nothing in it. What did you say? I said, yeah, i got this one storage unit. Nothing in it. No, we got three. Exactly. <laughs> you need what? <laughs> ah, it's the Tell dream. Maybe there's gold there. Left. Who knows? Left. But we're going there now. So we're going to cut the tape and we'll see you guys in a minute. See you there.
Okay, what's up everyone? Welcome to another video. We're here in Palm Bay, Florida at this place. It's called Life Storage and we purchased a storage unit at an auction. Actually, we purchased three storage units today. We purchased three storage units today. We. You want me to bring some snakes in for you? But we're about to go in and check out what we got. This was the biggest unit and therefore deemed the most important. Um, all three of them are pretty small, but one of them has a safe in it. We'll get to that in the next couple videos. But uh, this one has a treasure chest, so from what I can tell anyway. Oh, we have to put a code in every time. What's, That's fine though. What's the key? All right, we're in. So we can either go it would be this way, would down be. this row or that row, but I think someone has their stuff in the middle of the floor, so let's go this way. This reminds me of like the most massive warehouse from the Indiana Jones movie. At Area 51, where they put the Ark of the Covenant. You want me to get it? Look how festive I was. Did you do that on purpose? No, I've oh. never been to a storage facility that had okay, yellow doors. I was wondering, because this morning I was thinking, I thought you were going to like, I don't know what you were doing, like taking a picture of the car or something. Yeah. Like, 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 or the skateboard. I was like, cause, it's so it's 11.25, so yeah. It's on one of these side, side winders though. I mean, Could you guys imagine getting paid rent every month for each one of these storage units? And how much money that is. Right here. So here it is. Just this little unit here. Uh, so I already saw inside of it because I actually We should reenact it where and then run into a brick wall with it and see if we can go through. Yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking. Alright, so what I was gonna say is I saw in it already because the lady brought me to it. Um, so I kind of have an idea of what's in there. And also that's not gonna take very long to to clean it out basically, but here we go, let's see. For the first time to the public, we present 11.25. The first thing, obviously, the Spectre board. <laughs> Then the other board. Are these vintage? All right, yeah. What do we got? First item on the agenda. This is vintage, huh? The vintage Spectrum surfboard. Obviously, the Spectrum board. Extremely is vintage. Vintage stickers on it. The other one's probably vintage too. But is this a trash can right here? I know this is really weird. Oh my gosh. Because the Melbourne house has been needing one of these like in the in the in bathroom. The bedroom because in the bedroom. Because they little trash bags, but dude, how perfect. I got a vintage trash can. It's solid glass, yeah. Oh, uh, was it plastic? No. It's glass. So my thought that's, when that's I that's saw this place. auction was that that's a vintage buggy bar too. Mirage. Whoa. Wow. That's style right there. It's all style. Was that if they left their surfboards behind? They, that they left other stuff in those boxes and bins too because nobody in their right mind who has these surfboards collected over the years would leave these and 
also if it's a spectrum board they might have other cool like stuff like <laughs> I didn't even see this. Wave rebel. Got two vintage wave boards. <laughs> but like they obviously they might have cool clothes in here. Think about it. Check out that board though. Is it real that that looks like that? The fact that it has this. No way. Is it real? Dude, the fucking eyeball oh face. Oh my gosh. Looks like freaking Venom. It is so... Captain, Captain Beef. Dude, no way. Captain, Captain Beef. Beef. John Lucas, shaped by John, John Lucas. Lucas. Yeah, he still shapes. Wow. The other one I have is by him too. How do we turn this on again? Do I have to walk by the guy? All right, our first big find out of the storage unit. Vintage Spectrum surfboard. Designed all up with a huge eyeball missile thing. Shaped by John Lucas, who I am familiar with, the shaper. He still shapes surfboards to this day, actually, um, in the area. That was a cool Spectrum board. I mean. That you could find. What a score. What a score. So explain what happened. This morning? Yeah. I woke up and Turner goes, I won one storage unit. And I was like, yay, pup. And then we're halfway here, as you guys saw. And he says, actually it was three. Three. But we are out one right now, so. You are here. Look how many storage units they have in here. Either way, you should just ask her to have a bathroom, I guess. So we showed these already kind of, but we have a Brian Wise Wave Rebel, and this is a super vintage boogie board. Um, I have no idea how long this stuff has been in storage, but I saw somebody posting one like this before, asking like hundreds of dollars, $700, something crazy. But I can see any that sold, but I know that to a collector, this might be worth something. Or to just somebody that had one when they were younger. So we got that. Second, we got the Mirage Vintage Boogie Board. So those two, quick pan up. Thinking this, I'm pretty sure this has got to be like maybe some fishing gear or a pool stick, maybe, possibly. It's kind of weird. Um, hold on, let me grab my light and actually. All right, I wanted to share with you guys for a second. This company makes the best lights ever. Princeton Tech. Made in the United States and the brightness. This light, it's a headlamp, like so. And also, you can pull it off of here and stick it on metal surface. So, in that way, it's magnetic. Look, like in a storage unit or anything, just to add some extra light to what you're doing. So, highly recommend. Let's see. Is it a pull stick? Yes, it is. Although it could be. So it's a Viking pull stick. And that could be worth some, some good money. Uh, I would say that's a score for sure. And whatever is in here, I'm guessing a pull chalk. Yep. 
Full chalk. National tournament chalk. That's pretty old. So that's going to give me a little bit of an indication of how old that the pool stick could be. Probably the older the better, considering the condition. It's pretty freaking nice, I have to say. All right, so I think this is probably poker chips. I would think. Yeah, it's, just it's open. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so they're new in the pack. Um, Milwaukee's best. Light. So that was probably like a some kind of a promotional giveaway at a bar or from the beer company because otherwise it would just say like the company name of it that actually made the pool. What is the, the uh, oh, it's here. Right here. Yeah. This is a nice poker set though. Yeah, this is a good yard sale. Play. It's a pretty easy uh, thing to sell. What's this box looks really interesting. I think that Rue would go in there. But it looks old, right? This is like, yeah, like some kind of a vintage. Uh, it says copyright FC and M Company Inc. This is a definitely for a live animal carrier, or it wouldn't have the breathable holes. In it. So animal trap or uh, animal little cage thing, maybe for like a squirrel or a ferret. Or okay, Princeton. That's, that's a straight pummel. Much. So this rug is just getting washed and going in the. Ooh. I guess just bring out the baby. Oh my gosh, what is that? Entering tsunami hazard zone. Oh man, I see somebody's wedding gift. <laughs> For real though. That could be true. For real. I feel like they would like that. I, think, I mean, that considering the time being. Let me see that board wow. though. Sunburned. Wait by Johnny O. Wave foils by Johnny O. What does it say? Oh, this is just like the decent, decent condition, though, dude. It's got the fins. Does the other one have it? Oh, shoot, Johnny. The other one has glassed in fins because uh, it's that time period. Yeah, but they're so cool. And that one's older paint. than this one, I think. This is a late, this is an early 90s, I think, logo. So long be cool to get a specialist. To tell us if you know what I mean. Oh, we might need to get a specialist or true to Craig Bobbitt. Dude, this I can't believe there's a spectrum board in there. It's just so great. And it was, it's a cool one. Like, this is like just the friggin' Captain Beef. Like, Captain Beef. All right, quick story time. Spectrum Surfboards was a local company from this area, Melbourne, Florida. They had a factory here actually next to the thrift store in Melbourne, Florida. We're in Palm Bay, it's the next town over. Either way, Craig Bobbitt was the owner since 1980, and he had probably hundreds of shapers over the years that shaped boards for him. John Lucas is one of the most popular boards probably you could find with the Spectrum logo on it. Um, and these were all done by hand. They never used machines back in the day. So this was shaped in the heyday of Spectrum surfboards. And it's hard for me to tell, but I don't see the Clark Foam logo on it, which is kind of weird. Because Would it be on the bottom of the front? Definitely be from the time period where Clark Foam was selling all the blanks to the people. But either way, this is a ridiculous Don't play with, what does it say? Don't play with. Don't play with water. Boys? I don't know. I don't know. There's too Perfect. much. I don't know if that's wax or what on there, but. It's just wax, and that's from the trackpad. Never heard of this company before, but I can already tell you that probably this board is worth more than that board. Because I think that that is more rare. Whereas Spectrum made a lot of boards, so they're not that hard to find. And the condition of that board is a little bit better. But boy, are they cool to find. 
dream. My dad owned half the Spectrum Surf Shop. Not the board company, but the surf shop. So obviously I like it. So I get into the next dream. Yeah. The camera's being weird. But it's oh, it's rolling like, now. Yeah, Still I just kept it rolling because it's, I don't know what, like, yeah, it's, it's a nine, right. but it's, get your rug. it's always something with the GoPros. My bro. And this is Melbourne House Road. This is nice. That actually the wash, and it's like actually kind of cool. I mean, I'm not, a, I'm not thinking it's that bad. It's just that house is so bare and I don't know. It would be cool. Alright, shall we check the clues? Yeah, I guess yeah. bring it closer, right? Yeah. Uh, and then we'll uh, it was gonna be heavy. use this little light. This little light of mine. How nice is that? Pair of jeans. Where's that Spectrum t shirt? That's what I was waiting for. What? No, I'm saying. Here's a Budweiser t-shirt. What? There There's might be a, a tail. Is that an Eagles starter jacket? Oh wait, what? These are Budweiser uh, jammies, made in Cambodia. Here's a corduroy. What is this? It's is a it? shirt. Yeah, but it's a. It's a nice collared shirt, almost like. Field a... master, made in Bangladesh. That's a pretty. That's like a work shirt ish. What size? XL. This is actually nice. This is not. Uh, just a, just that's a just tail. a tail. We what got an this, Eagles though? jacket in here. What is this? It's not an Eagles jacket. Damn. Volunteer. What is that? Hughesville Votech. Paul, 83. It smells all right. It smells like it was from I the mean, 90s, they not the 80s. Better than I do, whoever pulled this in 80. That's like a onesie. That is a fleece. Uh, it's just a fleece. It's just a, uh, what size is a large? It looks so big, right? The stuff was like put in here without even being washed. Let's be real here. Like you could knock someone out with this, it's so hard. <laughs> right though? Dude, ew, he had the dirt from like when he did, like went to work and then he just put them in here. See, this smells like 1980. That one, ew. This one smells like 1980s. This one doesn't smell like the 80s. So maybe it was what last washed in 92. <laughs> Good to know, but I'm not smelling it either way. Smell that one. Oh, I'm not smelling these. I'm so Give me an idea of what, is that, what year that came from. This is made in Bangladesh too. I mean, they're all vintage. This is a... No. Literally windbreaker uh, brand. Clothes. No bueno. Next clip. That's pretty cool. What is that? A sleeping bag? Wait, what is this? I thought it was a jacket. It is a jacket. That's an army jacket. It turns into a... It's an air force jacket. It smells really, really, really weird. Look. Air oh, Force. yeah, I saw that symbol. What's that? What's that? What is that? It was to hold it so that they could, like, bring it with them like this, I think. Because it's, like, it's, it's... Or it's for, like, jumping out of planes or something. I don't know, but I know one of you guys or gals who are watching will definitely know. I mean, it's definitely cool. Wait, what is this? It... It is a pair of pants, dude. That's why. They're probably flight pants. Oh my god, those are super For cool. For going then. on the plane, yeah. Those, those are, are super, super, cool. super sick. Alright, we got hats, guys. This is Country Gentleman. A large. It's a pure wool. But these are actually like kind of clean. And there was a cheetah one for me. I can rock it. Good day, sir. I actually really like this. I've never seen a cheetah one. But... I could use these. Yeehaw. This one's a little small for me. No, oh, yours is legit. Mine was made in China. This is Indiana Jones. That one's really, really nice. It's it's pure wool. Pure A. With the little feather on the side. That's how they work. Say, oh. 
I see some. That's all. Golf clubs. Oh my gosh, it's locked. Oh my god! Dude, that thing's so heavy. Locked? It's just coming home with us. Oh yeah, it is locked. Alright, I guess yeah, we'll just take that home and do it at home, right? Yeah. These okay. might be nice. Here. Yeah. So this is a Kenneth Smith. These are really nice. Kenneth Smith golf clubs. Um not really sure Here's the what other. that brand would be, but somebody quick Google search. That's the three iron top cover. What's, what's in here? Shall we? We got some gold. Shall we have a gold tea? Yeah, it that's says, like a croquet set. Oh, a croquet set? Oh, I always wanted one of these. Really? Oh, wow. For real. That's a really, I really cool did. one, actually. That's not that old, though, is it? I'm stoking about this. I mean, I'll yeah, play you be, later. This might be old. I'll take you to school. Let's check, like, uh, check. Where would you find the date? I'm guessing there would be a manufacturer. New York. Uh, little tag somewhere in here. Or on the outside. Is there or just Halix. Yeah, but they might. Brand. No, or I they put these in a newer case. We don't know for sure. I feel like these are old, dude, because I feel like everything in here is old. Every, like, I'm not, yeah, you're sure a lot. Mean? Basically, mostly everything in here is vintage. That's like, it's been in here for a while, it seems like. All right, that's cool. I mean, yeah, that's yeah. something we could play together. Or sell it, I don't care, but I... Or play it and then sell it, right? Things. I mean, I'm pretty good at it, let's be real. I mean, I'm saying... No, I'm kidding. I'm good at but golf, it is so fun. It, it can't be that much harder, right? The Minions and Alice in Wonderland were playing crochet. Cro yeah. Croquet. Croquet. Aren't they? When they were, yeah. And they were doing it with the, the little head, the little, uh, what were those things? Oh man, I haven't watched that movie in years, but you guys know what I'm talking about. She was like the evil. The evil queen. Like they were hitting the little, the little guys. Oh. There's a name. Buggy would come through and just smoke some on it. Wait, what are these? Hold on. What are these? Oh. It just seems Vintage like ice cream, right? What is this? Jewel, jewel box. box. Jewel box. Jewel box. Worth a dollar on purchase at 10. What? Dude, offer expired. Wait, why do they have in 1974, they should have cashed them in when they had the chance. Wait, what? What are they? Cashed in what? That, I guess it was from like a, I don't know, a casino or something. Hmm. I have no idea. Okay. What are you saying? I said you never believe how much these are going to. On what site though? One view per hour, that's, not sold though. Yeah. But still. But still, that's not bad. I mean, obviously, we're not going to get $350 for them. But the fact that somebody's trying to sell them for that, we could. If they had one view an hour. things for more that we were like, this isn't going to sell. And it and it did. Uh, so One view an hour means people are looking at them. That's what I'm saying. Which doesn't mean anything. Because... It could just be a hundred people that have them that are just trying to find out how much they're or worth. Or I could just sell them for 30 bucks and I'd still be happy. That's the thing. Just to like, if you just do that with each item, because if somebody has this same board, one of these, up for like 700, but like it never sold, obviously. No, yeah. But that's like why you always have to look bucks. on the sold those things, but. That's, yeah. I mean, we don't know. Maybe there's just but you never know gold in these like, boxes. I was selling like. The stuff that you just sell on eBay. You never know. Because you always think, you always think that there's always something that you think is going to sell. You're like, oh, this is worth a lot. And then that doesn't sell. And then the item that you just post up for like shits and giggles ends up selling quick. And it's like, how, who bought that? You know? Oh, yeah. All right. So we got some crusty, dusty towels. But these are always good for um, yard sales too. 
a lot of people like the some of the uh, this is what I noticed a lot of people who are sending stuff over to other countries like to buy these types of things from like estate sales or yard sales because it's cheap for one and they can actually use it wherever they're sending it to. They'll take it to house for granted, yeah. I'm going in. I'm going in, boys. We got a freaking. I'm just trying to pile it nice and here. Here, you just put the Princeton line right here. That's 100. percent Yes. So we got the creepy hotel bed sheet, and then we got a cool. this mink blanket. That's nice. I could wash that and donate it to the Kiki place with the other things. In. What? Dude, it smells like 1920. That's one. Why are you smelling things, weirdo? This vintage shirt here. Is it single stitch? No, it's not that old actually. Let's see. Still though. Oh, it's not that old. 2015. Huh? So yeah, they were in here recently. They were in here, but why is the? Other... It's not. Is it a mink blanket? That's what it says. I don't think that's a real mink, Let but that's see. a nice blanket. I mean. Oh. Yeah. Maybe there's a manufacturer tag on it that we can see. No, it does so feel. Pop into this one, right? Okay, so this is actually, for once, a pr what's in the box is actually in the box. When it comes to a camp, I shouldn't right? say for once, but this printer might be usable for us, maybe. Oh, for sure. It's not bad. No. There's no reason not to try it out. I guarantee it works. Wait, what kind of printer is that? Let me see. It's like... Can you print out? It's a scanner. I know, this is nice. I mean, the printer's a printer, really. For some reason, like, I feel like it's box. Yeah, that's exactly what I was gonna say. Oh. What? Candy. Candy? Candy. I like candy. No, it's candy kisses. This is like popping it in, but it's in ruin. <laughs> yeah, Silver Surfer. Silver <laughs> Surfer number 15. Yeah, that would be like this. Yeah. Would, this would be considered personal. Is there right? Pokemon cards in here? Oh man, these are classic pictures out of Harry Logan. Alright, we got something. Okay. Sterling Silver. Little, little. Does it have initials on it? Yeah, it does. It was personally made, like for someone. Is it Bible? It's always a solid score, though. Check it for Monet's. Just right. to have around. I got that tip from one of you guys. Yeah. Nike 6.0 box filled okay. with treasures. Filled with treasures. Oh my gosh. Lots of treasures. So this is personal, so I'm going to move this. Some sardines. Alright. This is a really cool pin. Alright, Beacon, should we eat these or what? Be cool. No. They're empty anyway. <laughs> just give that to them. This is a hunting permit. Boy Scout award. Let me cut this tape really quick just because I think that's pictures and I don't want to show the people. Alright, we tried to separate anything that would have names or pictures on it, but at the bottom of here they got the Valley Forge National Jamboree. Uh, coins, tons of different coins that don't look like they're silver or anything, but these are uh, Boy Scout coins, the Jamboree ones. Um, that's pretty cool. Boy Scouts of America, at Valley Forge, 1950 what? coin. And it's weird because my dad lives in Valley Forge. But obviously, yeah. these people were from Pennsylvania because they're Steelers fans. Yeah, yeah. So, I was like, wait, uh, they, 92. right there, they got a Steelers. Pittsburgh Steelers. So that would make sense. The Valley Forge isn't that far away from the room. Maybe like three hours or something like that. Boy Scout coins. So that's that's solid. That's you know, that's pretty solid. Frank Rizza, mayor thing. Tore down that guy's uh statue this past year, right? Right. Pretty sure. Found this for Lulu. Uh for you, yeah. 
thing. Little medallion with little pistols on it and guns. That's pretty cool. And what is this? Pennsylvania State Memorial Gettysburg PA. That's uh, aging like it might be silver, right? Let me say. I mean, it looks like it is, or it's just, I don't know. Mm. These are cool. These coins are solid. This box is pretty good. There's another one, too. There's a bunch of loose baseball cards in there, and I didn't want them to get more ruined than they already had been getting. I'm just been sitting in there, so I put them in with the comic, um, and we'll see later when we get back, or... Whatever, in the next couple days, I'll try and look them up. For some reason, the ca our camera, like... I hit record and it stops recording. And it just stops recording as if it's like taking a picture and then we think we're recording and we're missing the gold shots. I think we got the reaction on her phone, uh, on her TikTok, but uh, we just found this. Which um, is signed. Authentic Super Bowl XL ticket stub, signed and... Right. Dated Pittsburgh Steelers. And I don't know if this is encased worth... in 2007. I don't okay. Know if Hot Wheels are still a thing, but this is from 1979. I mean, in Malaysia. Yeah, a little Woody truck. Hot cool. Wheels are always a thing. So this came out of this box, which has that in it. And seashells. A little medallion. Liberation of Kuwait. I've never seen anything like that before. That's got to be worth some kind of money. Oh, these are chess. Uh, not seashells. Chess. Yeah. Chess pieces. No, they're weird. Uh, what's that stuff called? It's like the stuff they used that was like plastic, but it wasn't plastic. It has a specific name for it. See, there's another one in here. No way. And it's signed too. The Steelers. By here though. Um, Antoine Randall. L. I was hoping there was some Tom Brady stuff in here. Because he just is in the Super Bowl now again. It's unbelievable, actually, yeah. Endless Summer. Metal Sign. So that was a good movie. I enjoyed that. Like in these little goodie boxes they have in here. Or not. Something in there. <laughs> the sound that it made. This is a big dog storage unit that we've been getting now. Oh, we don't want to do that because it's... Another plaque. Oh, no. Pinewood Derby champion. It's, uh, it's kind of cool. Okay, so this That's some ding repair right there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Surf okay, ding another repair. one. Signed. Heath Miller. Some of the dang repair dripped off onto it. So good thing that was coated. What is that? Light bulbs. LED light bulbs for a shop light. GoPro Studio. <laughs> that's funny. This is pretty. Guess that's before they uh really like put GoPro as just a downloadable software. Cause now you can just download it. I guess we can use this box as personals because it's literally all. All right, this is a photo album, so I'm not going to show the pictures. Obviously, it's a photo album, but this Tupperware has some ping pong stuff in it. That's a good yard sale item. So maybe as we take stuff out of there, we can just put it in here. Yeah, these so are nice Tupperwares, like to just have. Like, to store even, stuff in there. Yeah, I'm saying Tupperware containers aren't that cheap. Okay. <sighs> This, it seems like they kept a lot of stuff they bought Got on when vacation, they were yeah. yeah. 
I don't know what that is, but it's cool. Uh, no idea. Some kind of a tribal that? thing. That's for diving, right? Oh, I don't know. Um, it's a tent. Is that a tent? <laughs> it's like, super tiny. It's like a net or something, right? Red Baron. Oh, it's for a pool. Oh. I don't know. Some kind of a pool Darts, filter yeah. or something. This is for divers, yeah. That's why I thought that, because I saw that in the bottom. Diver book bag. Diving bag, okay, yeah, yeah. Use divers for the experience. We got a big thing here, guys. Any signatures? No signatures. That's legit this old, is though. old, though, yeah. That's leather. I mean, yeah, most yeah. of them are leather, but... Softball mitt says, Hey, Brevard Animal Emergency Hospital. So they like the babies. Frisbees? Bunch of frisbees. What'd you guys like? That's a GoPro mount thing. Where? Right there. Oh, it is. Like a wrist? Like a wrist. Yeah. yeah. Like you would put that on your wrist and go diving so that you would have it. That's actually solid for surfing. It could be usable. No, it is, and that is really cool for diving. I never really thought about it because, like, we don't dive, but because then, like, you have the you, GoPro at least with it's you. It's like, it's super. Oh, maybe cool, I'll try it. No, Here's some goggles. I'll put that in with this. That's a yard sale goggle. And exactly this, we what can I was do asking it. the universe for an extension cord. Extension cord. Perfect. I really was looking. All right. It says towels on the box, so Vintage see sweet, sweet candy. <laughs> I know somebody who wants that. Mm. And he named Quo. Quo wants... Oh, isn't it dirty, though? SPCA, though. Yeah. We'll wash it up. Towels, 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 towels. Oh, it's like pet blankets. That's what it looks like. They had the Brevard County SPCA. Uh, the little book bag. But these are all good. Like if they don't sell it at the yard sale, we can just donate them to the cat's app right now. No, yeah. Perfect. Pillowcase. What's this? What does it say? Silk pillowcase. Goodwin Weavers. Made in the USA. It's a good blanket, though. 100% cotton. This is a warm, nice blanket, actually. They just leave it at the house there. Or sell it. It's a nice pillowcase. Why is it so long? Because it's just a... It's just not. It's a weird pillowcase. Box of tails. And then... Dun-dun-dun. The final showdown. This is what I was putting my money on. Having... Well, we already scored a lot of stuff, but... We did.
So, <laughs> which part? The GoPro is, well, it's charging right now. Oh, it is charging. Yeah, this charge box doesn't really have any juice left, but for some reason, just on standard, so this is the GoPro 9. For, when it's on, obviously when it's on, when we go to record, it just, I don't know the word, but it, it doesn't record. It goes on like it's recording and then it shuts off as if it's just like taking a picture, like a clip. So it just starts recording like short little clips and it shuts off. So like you think you're recording because initially it comes on like the zero, it starts like the timer, the red timer on the top, but then it's not. So then you're just going and then you're looking at it and you're like, wait, this is, hasn't been recording? So that's hence why we're filming with our regular camera now. Um, who wants to see what's in that box? I do. I want to see what's in this box. Gonna have to wait till the next video. Gonna have to wait for the next video though, yeah. Could be treasure. <laughs> it could be just clothes. Could be just crusty towels. Okay, so that is a wrap here at the storage facility. We have everything loaded in the truck successful day and if you guys want to see what's in that trunk please stay tuned for tomorrow's video um it, we're going to be opening it with you guys and we're going to show you everything that's in it whatever it may be good or know what's in there good or bad so i have to wait too so don't be sad but uh please subscribe to our channel if you haven't already and if you like the content and if you want to see that trunk please hit the post notification button it's a little bell next to the subscribe button and you will be notified when our new videos upload. And please everyone, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up and leave us a comment if you have a question or something to say. But we'll see you guys in the next one. See ya. Yep. so much. Yes! <laughs> Thank you. For what? For filming it. Babe. Wow.
Wow. That was just, sick. Just when you thought you weren't worth it. And I came here to do a totally different trick that I couldn't do. Ended up doing something I've never done before. <laughs> and it was so much cooler anyway. So, stay on your path. Never give up. Sounds stupid, but wow. My girl, she stuck with me on that one and filmed for like an hour just to do it. Woo!